Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you missed our last segment where we introduced you to our latest makeover, 44-year-old Robert Payne. There he is. He's from Madeira. He decided he wanted and needed a change. He's been letting his hair and beard grow now for about four years. Tony Miller, our expert stylist, worked on him as well as Cindy giving him a facelift. And we've also got him outfitted in some beautiful clothes from Patrick James. Uh, we're going to show you the transformation here in a little bit, but this is really great and very exciting. Yeah. Wait <laughs> till you see him. When he walked into the studio, I did one of these. Whoa! <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Michael from Patrick James, how did you jump on board? Why did you decide that you wanted to do this? Well, we wanted to uh, show some of Patrick James' uh, lifestyle uh, looks and, and uh, be involved with the makeover process here. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? Are we, we ready? Are ready? How long did it take for the big transformation? Uh, it took about three hours, I guess. Three uh, hours. Yeah, about three hours. Okay, plus the facelift, plus the outfitting. Okay, Robert, are you ready? He's standing by. Okay, yes. come on in, Robert. I wish we had a drum roll so I can. There he is. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Stop right there and let everyone get a close up look at you. This is absolutely amazing. You look fantastic. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? I feel real good. I mean, it's um, a big change. Have a seat. Have a seat and talk to me really quick. So you're 44 years old. You're yeah. young, very young. You're you're up in Madeira. You live there. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide you needed something like this? Well, I, I ran across the posting uh, um, from Tony. I commented, you know, you always see uh, makeovers for women, and I asked him why not men. And and uh, I guess he saw my picture and and uh, said, hey, if you're willing to cut and color and let me do my magic, uh, I'll I'll do you. And <laughs> I figured, you know. What the heck? Uh, start out uh, uh, the year with a fresh new look and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, good positive uh, vibes out of it. And mm -hmm. Well, you took good. about 30 years off. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> if you like it with the before to the after, holy, I was getting a split screen so you can see. You, I know, it's really yeah. fascinating. The highlights look fantastic, Tony. Uh, yeah. You know, so, so there he is. That's a kind of back side. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want it to be kind of long, like, uh, what's, it, what's the. What's the guy's name? Anthony Bocelli. Anthony, Anthony Bocelli, Bocelli or <laughs> Michael Douglas. You have yeah. a, the newest looks are having a little bit of length to them. So. Okay, and the color looks fantastic. Yeah. This really should prove to all those men out there that you shouldn't be afraid no. of changing your look. Michael, I want to talk to you because you, along with um, some help over there, Patrick James, right? Is mm -hmm. it Albert that helped uh -huh. you out? Albert Garcia. Al Albert Garcia, he's a stylist over there. Uh, you changed his outfit, his look mm -hmm. as well. Stand up for a second here and, and t describe to us what he's wearing and what you have over there that's in style at Patrick James. Yeah, Robert is wearing a, a beautiful uh, distressed leather jacket mm -hmm. from Remy Leather. It's got mm -hmm. that kind of rugged outdoor look, which mm -hmm. fits his personality and lifestyle perfectly. Mm -hmm. And some Donegal tweed uh, pants from St. Croix which are a great kind of a, a little more of a tweedy look, kind of a, a good wintery look. And a, of course, a classic Robert Graham uh, s a sport shirt or club shirt, but it goes great under the, uh, the leather jacket like that. It adds a little color and, uh, and, and, and just overall uh, draws in the color of, of, uh, of what uh, he's done with the hairstyling and, and the coloring on there. So yeah. you took the two, you put them together, yeah. the hair and his look. Uh -huh. and the hair coordinates with the color of the I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we also have to give a lot of credit to Cindy, who did the, the oh, yeah. facelift. So when I talk about taking 30 years off his look, it has probably a little to do with that, don't you think? Okay. You know, um, when I got home, I literally spent good 20, 30 minutes staring in the, in the mirror, and <laughs> I, I could not even recognize myself. I look better now reversing back to my 30s than I was in my 30s. <laughs> and you probably feel a lot better too because yeah, yeah. you look good, you it, feel it, good. It, it definitely was a big a big boost morale wise. Okay. Well, and he's single and all the women should write him <laughs> Robert Payne on Facebook. Yeah. Is this the look? Who, which one will get him more women? This look or the, uh, the white? Exactly. Oh, there one. he goes. Hey, right split there. Screen, the perfect. Split screen perfect. Can like you, you believe that's the Tony. same guy? Oh, I was love that? that. It's just unbelievable. It really is. From 60s to 30s. From 60s to 30s. We want to thank everyone. Cindy with her mini facelift. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for us.
Um, and all the good guys over there, Patrick James, go visit them over at uh, Fig Garden Village, mm -hmm. 224 If you want Cindy's number, I don't have it with me right now, but call me and I'll give it to you so we can all get the facelift. This and is Patrick of course, Patrick James uh, jacket. Is this Patrick way. James yes, too? I, it's beautiful. I, I feel like petting Tony. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Tony, thank you very much You're and very all your welcome. staff over at Strands uh, for what you've done. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Hey. Great, great job. All right, go visit Tony as well over at Strand. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back.